Good morning, I'm Mike Sands with your sports report. Well, Ole Miss offering Greenwood High Sammy Epps a scholarship on Wednesday. Was the junior wide receiver happy to accept almost as quick as it was offered? It's awesome, man. I just love the people there. They're nice. The coaches, they're good, uh, real good, friendly. And I'm just ready to live their uh, rebel life. I've been liking rebel since elementary. And now my time is my time to shine. Epps catching 33 passes for 401 yards this past fall projects as either a slot receiver or tight end at Ole Miss. Well, speaking of Ole Miss, head coach Hugh Freeze yesterday saying they've, quote, toyed with the idea of moving Carlos Thompson from defensive end to tight end, something they may look at this spring. Well, former Simmons U.S. Army All-American redshirting this past fall after recording just one sack in 11 games played in his first two seasons in Oxford. The college hoops from Mississippi State, Bulldogs leading scorer Jalen Steele done for the year after tearing an ACL and meniscus Wednesday night at South Carolina. And in doing so becomes the fourth state player lost this year to a season ending knee injury. The SEC last night looking more and more like defending national champ Kentucky will miss out on the NCAA tournament. Wildcats losing at Georgia 72-62. They're now 3-3 three three since losing Nerland's Noel to a season-ending knee injury of his own. And in women's hoops, Lady Statesman squeaked by West Florida 61-58 Thursday afternoon in the first round of the Gulf South Conference Tournament over in Birmingham. First-team all-conference selection, Randy Ball, a career highs of 25 points and 8 steals. Lady Statesman now on to Saturday's semifinals, awaiting the winner of UA Huntsville and North Alabama. That's going to do it for your morning sports. Now back to you.